10.20 hours, Tuesday, May 1st, Papa Alpha 474 emerged from its hangar at Royal Air Force Coningsby. Four seven four, better known as City of Lincoln, is the last remaining RAF Lancaster bomber still capable of flight, and a regular star performer in air displays up and down the country. Regular performer that was until a year and a half ago, when routine inspection revealed a serious defect: there was stress corrosion in wing rivets. whole summer season of shows was lost. That this famous old war machine is now able to fly again is due to a remarkable effort by ground crew, who spent a great many man-hours replacing an even greater number of rivets and giving 474 a total overhaul. Four seven four had taken part in 60 flying displays in that last busy season. Apart from shredding rivet heads, just how tired was the aircraft? Engines, undercarriage, armament were all removed. Wings and fuselage were supported by Jackson scaffolding. Inspection and overhaul were as thorough as man's patience and modern technology could make them. OK, OK, let's get past those tapes to the, the wing there, the main plane. Bit, bit direct, please. Yeah, pull the straps out the way, the way. By February this year, fuel tanks were returned. As the overhaul neared completion, 474's guns, 10 303 Brownings, were remounted in their turrets. Officers insist they don't know exactly how many rivets were replaced. Maybe 100,000, maybe twice that number. At the end of it all, the aircraft was to be a thousand pounds heavier, with a layer of special protective paint applied inside the skin. Squadron leader Richard Jones on 474's history, overhaul and future. Squadron leader, can you tell me exactly what was the problem as you discovered at the end of last season? Well, yes, we. Uh, well, I think before we do that, it's, it's best to put the whole thing in perspective. The aeroplane is, is a geriatric aircraft by any standard. It's the same age as I am. It was designed in 1942, built in 1945 for a, about a 300-hour life. It was a design life. It's now completed something over 2,700 hours, uh, which is 10 times that, and it, it's very tired. The, um, the rivets that uh, were originally designed in, uh, that it was originally built with, were uh, of an aluminium alloy that corroded very badly, and we found an enormous number of them were just flaking away. So. We got ourselves into a situation where we had to do something about it, and we have spent uh, a considerable amount of time putting new rivets into the wings, and that's been the major portion of our refurbishment work. We have uh, a regular problem with spare parts. Um, as you can imagine, the, ev even the materials that we use nowadays are not available to us anymore, and the workmanship and the skills required are, are, are difficult to come by. Uh, we have uh, even got to the stage of having to make components for the aeroplane, going back to the original design drawings and manufacturing them. Uh, I think in future we're going to have problems with our fuel tanks. We already know about that. We have the drawings and we will be making uh, new fuel tanks within the next few months so that the, during the next close season we can actually change the fuel tanks that the aircraft's using. Um, th these are the sort of problems we have. Everything that we go for is now uh, a component that is worn out and uh, will be much more difficult to replace. One of the technicians who worked on the overhaul was Corporal Les Perrin, a regular member of the Memorial Flight. To him, it was more than just another job. There is an emotional um, background to working on the flight. Um, you realise that this is the, 
breaks out of the eye when they defend the country and struck the country in the war. But do um, you come to think of the men who flew these aircraft and how they were in the actual um, environment of uh, war? Um, it makes you think a lot of them working on them uh, and thinking of these people. Master Engineer Derek Butcher is the only member of 474's present crew who served in Lancaster's in wartime operations and was shot down. Well, we were shot down as we were going into the target. We knew we were, um, they were getting pretty near to us because we could see the flak bursts. And eventually um, we caught one in the port wing and the number one and two engines caught fire. So it was a matter of having to get out as quick as possible because the aircraft must have had control damage as well because we were in a dive. So um, it was a matter of getting out as quick as possible. It was a daylight raid actually, so I was caught by the Germans as I landed. And they had me for a couple of weeks. And I managed to get away due to um, a typhoon rocket raid. And. Um, during the panic, I managed to get away then. And um, I remained over there until um, Belgium was liberated, actually. I managed to get back, back then.